trip into the Wollongambi wilderness. My objective is to get to Rain Creek and then Neok Creek and return. My approach will be going in through Short Creek Canyon and along the way we're going to get some good views and see some pretty interesting scenery in different rock formations. So we'll take a look at it now just behind you as a tessellated pavement. Well I'm making my way up onto Lost Flat Mountain now via a little canyon that's quite pretty as you can see behind me there. Um, I made it down to the Wollongambi by about 10 o'clock but then I fell asleep for an hour and a half at morning tea so I'm not going to make it down Short Creek uh, today but I'll hopefully camp above it and then get a, an early start tomorrow. And here we have Short Creek. There's to the edge so I'm going to camp the night here and then go down tomorrow morning. Well, end of day one. So I'm going to camp here out on the ridge just above Short Creek. So I'll get an early start tomorrow and then hopefully make it all the way across to Rain Creek and then a fair way down there to camp tomorrow night. Well, it's early morning on day two. I made pretty quick work of a side creek there to get down into Short Creek, so here we are. I don't know anything about it other than there's two abseils that were ahead and probably a swim. So you're going to see um, what it's like at the same time that I do. Well, I'm not too much further along. I had one jump down, but uh, now I got to the point where the canyon really is beginning to form here. I think I can probably climb around this drop. It's about 10 metres down but probably isn't too much further to uh, the abseils and uh, the real slot canyon section. Well, I've reached the first drop and it does look to me, so there's the anchor, that's pretty good. <laughs> that one's uh, got a lot of stuff on it, I'm not going to go off that. But it does actually look to me, down there, that I'm probably going to have to swim or at least it's going to be a deep wave at the bottom. So I've already got my trousers off and I'm about to take my top off for the actual abseil itself. Well, it was only a way steep wave as it turned out. So it wasn't too bad, but I've still got the swim to come. So I'll give you a bit more of a look at that abseil there. So there's the previous abseil, just, I don't know, 30 metres back. And then we come to the main abseil with the swim. So, got some bolts in the side there. And that's the abseil with the pool at the bottom. Most people will probably think I'm crazy coming down here in winter, I would agree. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty cold, as you can sort of tell. Camera's shaking, so I'll, uh, I'll turn around and give you a look at the, at the falls. So there's a bit of an overhanging start, and then onto that ledge, and then down from there. Sorry, the, I can't keep the camera still because I'm shaking so much. I was able to unclip just before getting in, just to the right of the falls as we're looking at it, and then had a 15 metre swim or so. Oh, and I really... So I've just come on 50 metres or so from the waterfall. Being uh, very cold, wet and shivering, I knew I'd be not very agile on the rocks and uh, that's already proved I've already fallen over three times already. But, uh, very impressive uh, canyon here. It's opened up quite a bit. Very beautiful. Hmm. 
Well, I've reached the sunlight, which is a, a very much a welcome relief and very warming. So, uh, the canyon's there behind me. It's kind of opening up now, but I did have to do one more swim and two chest deep wades. So, uh, it wasn't entirely dry from there on, but it's certainly very pretty and it's a very remote canyon. So here is the Bungle Brewery Junction. There's not really many nice looking campsites around, but that's fine. I'm here for a nice early lunch before heading off. So that was Short Creek Canyon.